I would like to begin by stating what an honor it is for me to have been asked by my aunties from the Gedai family to give this tribute on behalf of my mother, Dr. Mishere Gedai Mogo, and the entire Gedai family. This is especially in light of the fact that having been named after my paternal grandmother, strictly speaking, one might consider me an imposter. But thanks to the new constitution, which recognizes both the maternal and paternal lineage and the honor bestowed upon me by the Gedai family, I am able to stand here representing my mother. A tribute for Jeremiah Gitao Kirini from his Adoni Bariya Gedai, the Gedai clan family. Greetings from the entire Bariya Gedai who are here, old and young, either in person or in spirit, to escort home our in-law, the late Jeremiah Gitao Kirini, who embarked upon his final journey home to his maker on May 13, 2019. Before delivering the Gedai family message of solidarity, it is important to insert an important caveat by providing some brief background to demonstrate the challenges and limitations of speaking with either accuracy or authority on behalf of the Gedais, the in-laws of the late Jeremiah Gitao Kirini. As many of you know, in his chiefdom heyday, Gedai, son of Gete, had an insatiable appetite for wife acquisition. With all due respect to our great ancestor, but in the name of honesty, he was a notorious polygamist. Indeed, Gedai oral historians who are given to hyperbole would swear that at the height of his fame in the 1930s, Chief Gedai, was, Chief Gedai Wagite had a village of wives. What the size of that mythical village was is another matter. Less bold Gedai oral record keepers, however, would place the figure at 20, while modest ones would scale it all the way down to 10 give or take. Whatever the number, even if we go by the conservative figure of 10, as you can well imagine, between the 1930s and 70s, the offspring had multiplied to cause, had, excuse me, had multiplied, resulting in Nyombaya Gedai, the house of Gedai, large enough to cause a mini population explosion in Dia location, Kirinyaga. In other words, by the early 1970s, when Mr. Jeremiah Getao Kirini and his people arrived on Kadidia Bridge, Baricho, from Kevichoy, Kiambu, to ask for Eunice's hand in marriage, Gedai, the Gedai clan sprawled from Mwea through Kagio and past Baricho. Crime-wise, then, all I'm labeling to, laboring to say is speaking for the Gedai family is a formidable, if not impossible task, all thanks to those who set me up for this daunting task. Due to the limited space available, a few observations will suffice before I rest my case. One, the most critical thing in-laws want to be assured of by the man who marries their daughter is that amongst his people, she will be a part of the extended family. She will find, quote, a place to feel at home, end quote, to borrow from the title of a book by Bethel Lagotte and Fred Wellborn. In this regard, the late Kirene definitely made sure that our daughter Moringo became a part of his family. Indeed, he seems to have succeeded so well that it is our daughter herself and not him who has been known to remind the family from time to time that she's a Kirene, especially when resisting co-option into delicate family affairs. Two, whenever there have been important events, occasions, and ceremonies in the Gedai family, be they happy or sad, Babamburu, as many of us called him, walked shoulder to shoulder with us, lending assistance and advice as a good older son of the family would. Three, along with Mamamburu, our late in-law has always been ready to open up his home to members of the Gedai extended family, a number of whom ended up living with them for a long period of time and have been treated as part of the Kirini family. 
Notable and obvious examples are Nancy Mugregidae, Kanini by nickname, and Gadoni Masharia, Ni Gidendwegidae. Visitors of the Kirinis when they lived at Cabernet Gardens, Nairobi. Many used to think that Wambui Kirini, Mumbi Kirini, Nancy Gedai, and Gadoni Gedai were all Kirini's daughters. Four, the Gedais will always remember with appreciation Babamburu for the respect that he had for his wife as a fellow professional. In marrying Moringo Gedai, Kirini was cognizant of the fact that he was tying the knot with a nationally and internationally distinguished female professional, particularly in the world of nursing. Now, it is no big secret, nor is it male bashing, to note that some men are intimidated by wives who happen to be high achievers, but not so with Jeremiah Kirini, himself a renowned and long-standing Kenyan civil servant. As is common knowledge, throughout most of his life, Kirini has served Kenya in highly prominent positions, including district commissioner, permanent res secretary, minister of defense, head of the civil service, and secretary to the cabinet before retirement, just to name the most notable. The Kirinis have worked together as professional part partners, independently and collectively, displaying unique talents, some of which we are here celebrating at this memorial. As intimated, space is limited, and besides, there is an urgent need to transcend the assaulting verbosity of a breed that will remain nameless and that notoriously holds its sun-roasted audience captive for hours during rallies, speaking nothingness, and then at the end of it all, callously declare, quote, with those few words, I will hand over the microphone, end quote. So to distance myself from this arrogant and irritant culture of offen offensive verbosity, I will move on to five, the last point of this solidarity message from the Gedais. Today, the entire Gedai family joins the Kirini family in mourning our son, the late Jeremiah Gitao Kirini, but more so in celebrating his life of achievements as well as the unique legacy he has left behind. We are proud to have been associated with a man of such distinction and to have called him our son. As our send-off, we, the entire Gedai family, says, salute, son of Kirini, salute, son of Kenya, go well, Mudoniwito, and remember us all to the loved ones who went before you. Tell them we are here, remaining behind to extend to our beloved daughter and your devoted wife, Dr. Eunice Moringo, along with the entire Kirini family, love, even as we fervently pray that courage, peace, comfort, love, and grace will support them now and forevermore. Amen.